What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another death battle. This is the season finale, so I'm going to shamelessly plug my own show. So they're probably not going to do any more episodes for a while, but if you don't get enough death battle, you could always check out my show, Fictional Fights. It's similar, whatever. Um, whatever. I'm not going to talk about it right now, even though I just did. Uh, t uh, Pokemon vs. Digimon. I cannot talk today. I'm too hyped. Alright, three, two, one, go! This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lenovo Game State. Before you keep watching, head All right, so who I think is going to win? Um, at first I wanted Charizard to win because I, I like Pokemon more than Digimon. I haven't really seen any of Digimon, but I've heard some things about Greymon. And if they're all true, Charizard's doomed. So I'm... I'm gonna stick to my gut and go with Greymon, because all the things everyone was saying, they were all consistent with each other. So, I'll go with Greymon. Or Agumon. I guess Greymon's an evolution or something? I don't know. Like I said, I never seen Digimon. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. One thing I'm excited about is Todd Abercorn is voicing Ty in this. Todd Abercorn is my favorite anime voice actor of all time. Death the Kid, Kerro from Sergeant God, Frog, Jocko from Re uh, Resurrection F, Dragon Ball Z. Every animal in the world, but that would be a lot of work, so you probably would just bribe a kid to do it for you. So began the story of Red, an 11-year-old boy from Pallet Town. Red's mission was to challenge the gym leaders of the Kanto region, mm. defeat the Elite Four to become champion, and of course, capture all 150... 151, Pokemon. right? <laughs> to do this, he needed a partner, a companion, a friend, a Pokemon. For obvious reasons, mm -hmm. he chose the awesome Fire Dragon. It wasn't really a tough decision. The thing is, <laughs> my dad gave me the name Red, hoping that when I grew up, it would help me have the passion and energy of a red-hot fire. I don't think a fire uh, can have passion. In the world, Red and his Charmander <laughs> began to grow and learn. Eventually, the little red lizard evolved into the 5'7", 200-pound yeah. mighty Charizard. Red's Charizard is his go-to Pokemon in battle, and he's taught him a variety of powerful moves. Be his flamethrower is hot enough to melt boulders, making it over 2100 be He can throw enemies be around be with be seismic be tusks, be beat the shit out of them with Mega Punch and Mega Kick, trap foes in a vortex of flame with Fire <laughs> Spin, never miss stars with Swift, and bring the heat even higher with the ultra-powerful Fire Blast. Being Project a M. Pokemon, there are I mean, of other moves I mean, a dead Charizard, Project Dead. Burn, Rest in peace, Project M. <laughs> Over the course of their adventure, beating up lesser animals, Red and Charizard became more than just trainer and Pokemon. They became friends. And in the Pokemon world, a strong bond between trainer and monster can make crazy things happen. In Red's case, he unlocked the power of yes. evolution. Mega Charizard X gets a major boost in attack, defense, and special attack, making him a far deadlier Pokemon than before. To add even more power, Mega Charizard X gains the Tough Claws ability, increasing the power of contact yes. used by 33%. But fighting with a Charizard has its own share of problems. Being a fire and flying type, a Charizard is weak to rock, electric. I don't think water will be a problem against Argumon. The flame on the tip of Charizard's tail goes out, he dies. Man, that seems like the worst thing ever. I mean, could you imagine living in constant fear that, oh, I don't know, you'd get caught in the rain and die? Fortunately, a Charizard's tail flame burns so hot, not even water can douse it so easily. However, Charizard's battle strategy relies entirely on Red's decision and direction. Without his trainer, he would be as yep. random and unfocused as a wild animal. Luckily, strategy is Red's specialty. Red is famous for not just his unbreakable faith in his Pokemon, but also his brilliant and sometimes I wanna be strategies the in battle. Bitch. While still okay, I'm not 11 see. years old, Red defeated Kanto's eight gym leaders, took down the criminal organization Team Rocket, and became the regional champion all Pretty in less good. than a year. He's good, but he's also got one hell of a Pokemon on his side. Yes. Charizards are proud warriors. They dislike fighting weak Way better than Squirtle really or that challenge. salad thing. Many well trained Charizards have won tough battles against the <coughs> odds. Ash Kansom's Charizard defeated an Articuno, and both his and Red's claimed victory in one on one duels with Blastoises. Blastai? The, the big <laughs> the water turtle that's hard to beat. 
which on paper should have an enormous advantage. But that's not the limit to the flame Pokemon. Paint to be like one of your friends, Charizard. X has gone toe to toe with legendary Pokemon capable of altering the planet, and Reds has even defeated Mewtwo, the most powerful psychic Pokemon known to man. After becoming the Kanto champion and <laughs> like how Mewtwo just stands there and takes it, like, Pokemon, uh, Red and okay, Charizard fine. wandered the world, always training, always fighting. Until eventually they stopped at Mount Silver and Johto. Distancing themselves from the rest of the world for no real reason, Red and Charizard stood atop its peak, waiting for the day a new champion would rise to challenge them. Oh, I remember that moment when I was a kid. <laughs> Summer day in I'm just excited to hear Todd Abercorn, Kero, Get the Kid, Jaco. No one cares about Natsu, sorry. Fairy Tale's not good. Well, yeah, basically. When Ty woke up, he discovered he'd been transported to the digital world, where he met a bouncing pink blob that can talk. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your friend, I'm your friend, I'm your friend! Man, this show is weird. That's Koromon, a Digimon specifically created to be Tai's partner and friend. And to protect Tai from harm, Koromon learned how to Digivolve, becoming the fire lizard Agumon. That's more like it. Agumon is a rookie level. <laughs> I'm sorry, Agumon just looks goofy. He looks Pepper goofy to me. Together with the other Digi Destined, Tai and Agumon traverse the digital world bringing balance to the chaos and destruction caused by several diabolical monsters. Including an Elvis Presley impersonator who was also a monkey. Now, let's get some straight, Sonny boy. I'm the monarch of rock and roll. Your jobs will make me happy. Man, how high were they when they wrote this? Oh, my nose is itchy. As their opponents became more and more powerful, Jeez so Louise. did the friendship between Tai and Agumon. As their bond grew, so did their power. And Agumon soon learned how to digivolve even further. First up is his champion form, Greymon. That's the version we're focusing on, right? I'm sorry, this voice acting is really cheesy. Greymon! Agumon, who can still pull off the whole cute and cuddly mascot thing, Greymon is two terrifying stories tall and way more powerful. Good luck snuggling up with that. Greymon is so strong, he mm. is more than capable of trumping other champion level opponents in combat, especially with his trademark attack, Nova Blast. Next up is my favorite, Metal wow. Greymon. This form's got a robot arm and shoots missiles. Metal Greymon also wears layers of chrome digizoid armor. <laughs> The hardest now I see why people world. said Charizard is Since doomed. The digital world is I agree too. The real world, all real life metals can exist in it as well, making Greymon's Chrome Digizoid got this. tougher than the likes of Tungsten, Steel, and Titanium. And finally, there's Agumon's Mega Level, War Greymon. Though he's a lot shorter than Metal Greymon for some reason, but it's a small package with a lot of punch. Quite literally, in fact. War Greymon wears mm. two clawed gauntlets called the Draymond Destroyers. Weapons which are extremely deadly against draconic foes. To add to his defense, he carries the Brave Shield on his back. Oh, this is why my nose is shitty. Okay. Other mega level Digimon. We've come a long way from the annoying big blob. Never mind. Raymond's ultimate attack is the Terra Force, where he puts all the energy from the atmosphere into yes, a am. big ball of total annihilation. God damn, that is some Dragon Ball Z shit right there. No, I'm not. But oh, and they said Dragon Ball Z. Oh no. Power. The Agumon line is weak to earth elemental attacks, and too much damage may exhaust him and force him back to a prior form. Also, while Agumon and his ascending forms can fight and think alone, his power comes directly from Tai. Without their connection, Digievolution would be impossible. Yeah, but Tai started off as kind of a selfish dick. He even tried to trick Greymon into Digivolving further, which ended in a skeletal monstrosity Jeez. rampage. 
Well, he never wanted to come off that way, but sometimes Ty was just too courageous for his own good. And for those around him, even as a child, his courage was unprecedented, promoting his strong relationship with Digimon in the first Ooh. place. Over time, he learned the humility and responsibility necessary to successfully lead the Digidestined against Apoclemon, a basically physical embodiment of the Recycle Bin, and save both the digital and real worlds from being deleted forever. And with the universe saved, they donned suits to become UN diplomats to the digital world. Drugs, man. I'm hyped. I'm also hyped. Go for it. Yeah, Charizard's dead. Charizard's dead. All right, the combatants are set. Let's send this debate once and for all. But first, we've got a mission for you. Hey! Do you want to make a video game? Well, then we have a mission for you. Lenovo hooked up a few former AAA developers with the Lenovo Y series computers. They're making a 3D sci-fi tower defense game based on your suggestions and feedback. Your mission is to click the link in the description to go to LenovoGameState.com and leave comments on the tile, Mission 2, Defend Your Territory. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions to influence the direction of the game. Once you're done, be sure to spread the word on social media using the hashtag GameState. Let's build a game together with dragons or whatever you want. But right now, it's time for a death battle! All right, here we go. I'm... Ah, there's nothing better than a campfire and a golden, <clears throat> delicious marshmallow. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> oh! You killed my marshmallow! Whoa, Red, what's wrong you with you? You have to damage it, it first. Really rare. Hey, Agumon, I got some. <laughs> I choose you, Charizard. Red, you can't steal another trainer's Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, okay. For it. Okay, buddy, go for it. Pepper breath. Woo! <laughs> 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 Red, what's wrong with you? You're so derpy. Music though. Turn up the heat. Fire blast. Keep it up. Come on, Charizard. Aim above his head. There's no hope for you anyways, but still go, Charizard. Blast. No! Huh. 
guess <laughs> that's that. <laughs> it's not over yet. I believe in Charizard. There we go. There you go, Charizard. Bad boy. It's not gonna work, but you can try. Ty! Agumon, no! Agumon, Warp Digivolve 2! There he is. Oh, skipping Metal Greymon. Okay. Charizard's definitely getting a lot more attacks in. No. Yes, we did it. What? What are you doing? We're not supposed to fight. Call up your dragon. My turn. Ooh. Dude. Oh, <laughs> They're killing them both. Wow. Maybe if it was Ash, y'all would have stood a chance. Shots fired. <laughs> that was rough. My childhood. Charizard may have started off with a mobility and versatility advantage, but the difference in power between the two only grew as the battle went on. First, when comparing the trainers, Red's bond with Charizard was strong enough to mega evolve, but like most Pokemon, their relationship is still one of master and, well... Slave, come on, you know it's true. I know there's the bond of friendship and whatever, but when Red's through with Charizard, mm -hmm. it's back to the tiny spherical prison. Ty and Agumon, on the other hand, are best friends on equal footing, and Agumon's fighting power comes directly from Ty. Yeah, these kids were called the Digi-Destined for a reason, and together they had enough power to stop an attack which could have wiped out both the digital and real worlds. And this is the power Agumon's using to Digivolve. Charizard's flame could melt boulders, but that's hardly mm -hmm. comparable to Chrome Digizord armor. Hell, Metal Greymon alone is officially documented as possessing the power of a nuclear warhead. And War Greymon has weapons specifically <laughs> designed to kill dragons. But Charizard's not Honestly, a dragon type. It all comes down to a huge difference between Pokemon and Digimon itself. The escalation of evolution. Pokemon evolution improves monsters in increments, whereas the gap between Digimon forms is often massive and quite frankly absurd. In the end, Red and Charizard couldn't even hope for as much as a tie. The Puns. winner is the next Digimon. time on. Nope. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Chad. I guess. I'm sick. I'm sorry. Aw. They don't get a with. season three so, preview. Like, like, oh. Well. See you next time, guys. Cool stuff. I'm yeah. just and, and yes, I watched the rest of this end part after I'm done recording. <laughs> <laughs> so don't mention it in the comments.